they got me the big bag, which means damage was done. Hi guys, my name is Stefania. Uh, welcome to my channel if you are new here. Uh, today I have a Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, this is probably the, this and the 20% off are probably the most I spend throughout the year as far as products. Uh, I think it is ending on the 23rd. So if you need anything or you like anything from this haul, then uh, grab your phone. So, and this is gonna be a lot of randoms. It's definitely not all makeup products. So, without further ado, let's get into this giant bag. I think this is the second time I ever got one. I don't know if that's good or bad or I should be ashamed. I don't know. All right, let's get into it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and we will get right into the haul. Okay, so I was definitely thinking of summer when I bought most of these products, especially because I live in Arizona. It's already hell level temperature here, so uh, it's summer. That's it, there's, yeah. Um, so the first thing I picked up was these Kopari uh, Coconut Kiss, Coconut Kiss Kit. Um, I couldn't find it in the store, but I did find it online. And I think of this just because one, my lips are super dry. Uh, every time I go to the beach on vacation, I suffer, like my lips suffer horribly and I just, I don't even wanna wear a, like a liquid lipstick or anything like that. So this comes with Mai Tai, which is a coral pink, hibiscus, which is a watermelon, pinkini, which is obviously a pink. So these are just glosses that have a little bit of tint to them. I've heard really good things. They've gotten really good reviews and I've never tried one of these. So I do love the coconut melt as well, um, but that's all I've tried from this brand. So I thought this would be great just to put in your purse. Vacation, still give you a little bit of color, but moisture, cause I need it. So that was the first thing. I don't really know where I'm supposed to put all this stuff. Just hopefully I don't break anything. Just don't don't throw anything breakable. Okay, like this next one. So this was probably the most expensive thing I did purchase. Um, I've been really trying to take care of my skin. Um, I'm really scared of getting sunspots and just, you know, I don't want to look like a raisin in 10 years, you know? So uh, I did try this out in the back of my hand in store and this also got really good reviews. Um, it's weird though. It's got like a medicine like as if I was taking something prescription on the back, like has the drug facts. I don't know if that's, I don't know. Uh, but it is from Kula. I love their sunscreen I got recently. And then this is full spectrum 360 sun silk drops. Um, it is indoor, outdoor, environmental, digital, UVA, UVB protection. You get one fluid ounce. And I think you only need like a few drops. So you just, I just want something to apply in the morning. Um, and then you can use it alone or with makeup on top. So um, hopefully it's good. It says silk, which silk feels good for my face. So I'm hoping this works out. All right, okay, let's do this. Hold the giant freaking bag. Sorry about the cars. I'm not even by the street, I don't know. I also have three dogs at my house right now, so you might hear those too. Um, next, I got the Sol de Janeiro Moisturizing Shower Gel Cream. It's like heaven in a bottle. It's my favorite scent, I think, ever. Ever. I obviously already have the spray back there. I have the cream. Anything that smells like this, I want, I need, I'll purchase. So, because of the sale, I'm okay with that. I've already told my husband, I'm like, you use a very little amount because he loves the smell of this too. So I was like, we will share, but don't, don't, you know, don't go overboard. So let's see what else I got. All right, I got the Shishido cotton pads. These are 10 bucks, so I wasn't, you know, I was like, it's fine. It's 10 bucks, I've, I've felt them in the store. Everyone has good things to talk about. But I mostly got it because I purchased my first ever toner. I got the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner from Ole Henriksen. If I say that wrong, what can you do? I don't know. Um, but 
I never realized how much shit was left over on my face after wearing makeup until like I got a sample of this and I was just like, it's disgusting. It like even after like a white a makeup remover, like a wipe, plus cleaning my face, I used like a little sample of this and I was just like I have a lot of dirt in there. So I'm really excited to see how much this changes my skin. Um, I, I feel like I'm gonna really like this brand because I tried a few samples and I got a lot. <laughs> um, and then from that brand, I also picked up this Transforming Walnut Scrub. If you guys have used any of these products, please let me know what you think of them. It says exfoliates, cleanses, purifies with walnut powder and ginseng extract. So, that's good because I have dry patches of skin, but I definitely need a new exfoliator. I'm going over my non-makeup products first, and then we'll, we'll go over makeup stuff. So, uh, uh, uh. oh, and if you just ask them at Sephora, they will give you samples of whatever. So I told her how interested I was in the Ole Henriksen brand, and the lady was just like, oh, okay, well, here's a sample of our like one, two, three step, I don't know what this is, power peel. So I'm going to try that out. Um, and yeah, I think that is it for skincare and like others. So, um, let's go over makeup next. Okay, so for makeup, I really didn't buy a whole lot, which is very surprising. Oh, I didn't know I had that in my hand. At least there's no hair caught in it, right? Okay. So I picked up the Soft Glam palette. Um, I wasn't going to because I was not happy that... I wasn't, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna happy, but like, just because some of the shades are in there, I already have them, so I was kinda like, I'm not gonna get it, blah, 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 and then, then it happened. Just, it appeared in my cart. Someone put it in there. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but this is what it looks like. So, I'm really excited to use this. I think I will do like, a get ready with me, or first impressions. Now I'm just trying to talk to myself while I do my makeup to see if I can talk at the same time because it is so much harder than I thought it would be to keep like talking. So those are some of the swatches there. I do really like the formula. I don't have any, you know, of the Anastasia shadows. I own a ton. It was just more of like, I didn't want repeat sheets, but everyone loves this. So I figured why not? I will give it a shot since it's on sale. So, to go with that, I picked up two of the bronzers. I didn't know which shade would suit me. Does anybody else have a hard time? Like, bronzers are just something where I don't know what shade to get. Like, I'm always just kind of like, I like this one, and I like that one, and I have to, like, really test it out to see which ones I'm going to be and what I'm feeling that day. So, I picked up two shades. I picked up... Rich Amber, so we will do a swatch. This is what it looks like. Again, really good reviews. It's just a matte bronzer. I just didn't know between Rich Amber and Saddle which shade would suit me better. There we go. That is Rich Amber on the bottom and that is Saddle up top. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm excited about them though. I'm not going to throw them. The next product I got was the Sephora Collection Lily Lashes. So if you have seen any of my videos so far, you know that I don't wear a lot of lashes. When I mean I don't wear a lot, I don't wear any. So <laughs> um, I really wanted to pick these up and just try them out. I've heard a lot about them and we will see. I didn't know they were at Sephora, so I was like, if I can get a sale and test them out, they are style Miami they were they're expensive they're supposedly supposed to last you a while um but they're definitely dramatic they will definitely be I'm sure it would be a really fun video to watch me put these on and I don't know if there'd be enough film for that I am not great at putting them on and I am very allergic to I don't know if I'm allergic allergic but like my eyes get beet red and I've used duo I've used house of lashes glue like anytime I've tried lashes, my eyes end up beet red. So I'm gonna try to give this another shot and uh, I'll keep you updated. All right, just a few more things left. I picked up the Pat McGrath uh, 
lip pencil in Suburbia. This is Suburbia. It's just a really pretty pink. So you guys can see that. It's always hard picking lip stuff online. I feel like it's hard picking anything online, but definitely lip products. Uh, but I swatched it and it does seem to not be a shade that I have. So, um, I've never used her lip pencils before, but I love her lipsticks. And they come with a sharpener in the box, which I really appreciate. Look at that. So 26 bucks, you get a sharpener and you get the pencil. So, which is kind of good because I never remember when the pencil actually has the sharpener on the back of it. I never remember that ever. So that is that. And then I got a few of her lipsticks. I'm going to do a lip swatch video of my Pat McGrath collection this fall, but they are one of my favorite formulas. I'm never disappointed in them. Um, it's just more shades. It's hard to pick your shade. So I got the shade Peep Show. They are expensive for sure. Uh, it says it was a peachy pink peachy nude i don't think it's peachy it's definitely pink but i don't see the peach or at least on my skin tone i don't see no peach but i do really like it so stay tuned for the lip swatches i did get like three other shades i think um let's see two more products i got this hourglass arch gel which i actually have on my eyebrows right now it's 28 bucks, and to be honest, I kind of like my Benefit one, the Gimme Brow, better. Just my opinion. Um, I don't know if I'm not using it right. It just doesn't give me, like, anything amazing. Um, but the lady there was, like, from Hourglass, and she did it. And she took off all my brow products, and she just used this. And I got my home, and my husband was like, what's, uh, what's going on with your eyebrows? And I was like, what do you mean? He's just like, they just don't. They look weird and I was like in a good way and he's like they're they're bushy like kind of and he I don't know the fact that my husband said anything about my eyebrows may mean a good thing or it could mean like he's like what the hell happened so I am still deciding if this is worth the money for 28 bucks because I do like my gimme brow a lot um let me know what you guys think of that product if you've tried it and last item so I did just do a review on this if you guys are more interested um, I still, here I'll do another swatch because you can't see it. This is the Dreamsicle highlighter from Becca. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it. I have it on my face right now, but you will see in that try on what my thoughts are. Beautiful formula though. I do like that. I will say that, but tune in for that video or go back and see that video. Um, but just, just watch. Just watch. So, that is it. Mm. I still have a weekend, so there's still <laughs> a weekend of the sale left. When I post this, it's probably going to be Monday. But um, there's probably a few products I'm thinking about getting. Um, but for the most part, I think I'm good. Like, I did pretty well. Pretty proud of myself. Trying to take care of my skin. Ugh. If there's anything that you are, like, absolutely recommend go pick up uh there's the becca hydramist powder i wanted to try um and then there's like a few other ones that i'll have my eye on but i'm not committed i am not committed yet so uh let me know if there's any products that you guys picked up what you picked up i'd love to know things you recommend things that i've got that you got or have tried and tell me right now be like take it back or <laughs> if you love it you know keep so um Thanks guys so much for your support and I will see you in my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm almost to 100, so it's been a good month. Bye guys.